The load test on the east side is complete and Priestley Demolition are approaching the end of their demolition tasks. A first look at the east side on Thursday morning revealed that all the steel billets which had been used for load testing had gone. They were once again neatly stacked on the north side of the east end. Only the upright supports that had held them remained in place. A smaller forklift had been brought in to support the heavier model that has been on site. Outloading the steel billets was quickly underway. You might notice that Priestley's larger excavator is still awaiting movement. The work would continue steadily all day. But the smaller machine would depart in the afternoon before it was complete. Across the gap on the west side, Priestley's staff were working on the remains of the fixed structure of the lift bridge. It's likely that it will all have to be removed to allow the installation of the new temporary bridge. Work was well advanced by the end of the day. On Friday, undeterred by dull, wet conditions, Weston loaded and removed the remaining billets. Much of their work, to their credit, was performed in some truly awful conditions. A review of the scene in a dry spell early afternoon revealed that all the billets had gone and so too had the supports. Besides the railings that Priestley had laid down earlier in the week and some remaining fragments of the old bridge, the dock was essentially clear. On the west side, following a move earlier in the day, Priestley's hybrid excavator could be seen. And this was the state of that side going into the weekend. It's worth noting that on the west end, at the very end of the north side of the dock, the central gear that drove the lift bridge is still in place. Given its symbolic significance at the heart of the drive train for the bridge, it really would be good to think that it might be preserved as some sort of monument. I guess time will tell what's intended for it. And if you want to see what's happening on the bridge, please consider subscribing and follow this channel. Thanks for watching.